It's Kia Vancouver Soccer Talk on AM650. Here's your host, Tyler Green. Welcome to Kia Vancouver Soccer Talk second half kickoff brought to you by Global Scarves, producing soccer scarves for over 40 years. Get scarves for your local club, organization, or school at globalscarves.com. The Whitecaps uh, had a, a big result tonight, a 2-2 draw against Real Salt Lake. We heard from Andy O'Brien of the Caps already. Still to come on tonight's program, Zachary Meisenheimer of the Curva Collective will join us in our Whitecaps supporters series. And uh, Ralph Kruger from NHL head coach to chairman of Southampton. We'll also hear what's happening in the uh, BC Soccer Bulletin, and we'll also dive into the injury report with the expert physios David Sandals in, in just a few minutes. But first, as always, Simon has all these scores from Espana. Yes, there were it was one game last night in Spain. That was uh, Elche drawing 1-1 with Levante. Four games today in, in the Primera Liga. Granada nil, Rio Vallecano 3, Getafe 1, Malaga nil. Cristiano Ronaldo, two goals and a 4-0 victory over Osasuna. And Real Betis fell 1-0 at home to Real Sociedad. Of the four games tomorrow in Spain, the big one is Valencia against Atletico Madrid. And on Monday, Celta Vigo hosts Real Valladolid. And uh, thanks, Simon. And uh, if you're watching, am650radio.com is the uh, website. You can listen to the the uh, webcast. I'm getting a lot of shtick from uh, Greg, our producer. Greg the Hammer giving me some trouble saying that... Uh, I'm hiding my face today while I'm wearing my El Camino's hat. Baseball season starts tomorrow, so I'm rocking the El Camino's wear tonight. So that's why I'm hiding the face today. Thanks, Simon, for that. Uh, as always, Simon's got all the scores from all the different leagues around the world. Time now for the injury report brought to you by Expert Physio in Burnaby online at expertphysio.ca. Joining us on the program as he does each and every Saturday is Expert Physio's David Sandals. David, welcome back to hey. the show. Oh, thank you, Tyler. How are you? I'm doing very well. And, uh, of course, the Vancouver Whitecaps, they, they left it very late uh, in this one, but uh, they get the result. Uh, your thoughts on uh, this performance from the Whitecaps tonight? Well, I must say I enjoyed the last 10 minutes a lot more than the first 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I rather thought Salt Lake handed us the tie. Um, it, they, they just didn't seem to do anything in the second half. They looked content with a 2 nothing lead. And it's an old classic, and everybody says it. 2 nothing's uh, the hardest league to hold. And and uh, they didn't seem to press forward much after after the halftime. So gave us our chances, and uh, they took them. Now, uh, the, the Whitecaps, uh, we've talked about it uh, quite frequently, but the, they've been relatively healthy this season, but there are a few little niggles here and there. Uh, Jada Merritt being rested again. Um, we have uh, Nigel Rio Coker, who was sick, and, and so he didn't come on the trip. But I guess uh, Pedro Morales has been hampered with a bit of a hamstring injury. Uh, is this something, or is he someone that the Caps should kind of shut down until he's completely healthy, or is this something that he could play through? Yeah, um, well, I, I saw uh, that uh, he was had a back problem, um, at least on the, the caps uh, that, that he was out because of his back. So I don't know if that's a back kind of hamstring combined thing, which sometimes happens. Um, sometimes a, a lot of young players, and a, a disc problem is a young person's problem. You might not think so, but generally it is, uh, can, can, can have some disc sort of uh, issues, which might give them some pain down the back of their leg. And and he looked a little uncomfortable when he came off uh, in that last game at home. So, you know, perhaps that's the thing. But they haven't said specifically, I didn't think uh, anyway, exactly what it was. So uh, I think we'll have to wait on that. Now, uh, meanwhile, uh, one injury that we know for sure is that Peter Cech suffered a, a dislocated shoulder against Atletico Madrid earlier in the week in the, the Champions League semifinal there. How long is uh, a recovery time for that type of injury? And is this one that's harder for goalkeepers to, to sort of return from? Um, well, in the goalkeepers, uh, you know, have to fall uh, fall down on the ground more than other players. But I think I think any player playing any kind of um, contact sport, and I, I, soccer is definitely a contact sport, uh, have an issue with that. Because the biggest complication uh, once you've had a dislocation is redislocation. Mm -hmm. um, there was a study done many years ago that showed. Uh, 
players that didn't get the adequate uh, rest and uh, immobilization following dislocation had a, a re-injury or re-dislocation rate of something like 90%. And I've just been, I've just noticed, uh, you know, there's a report uh, in one of the newspapers uh, that's saying that uh, Czech's looking at surgery. Um, if they do an MRI and find that there's enough damage, they, they may look to be doing that because uh, there's, a, there's, there's such a high dislocate, re-dislocation rate once someone's dislocated their shoulder. And then there's also, uh, we we're kind of just uh, emailing back and forth, that there's also some new techniques in, in repairing some uh, dislocated shoulders and new new ideas about it. Yeah, um, they, they've used the one technique um, called a bank cart repair for oh, probably a good 30, 30 plus years, um, which which worked extremely well in in most cases. Um, but there are cases where there's a fair amount of where the the the, the edge or the border of the bone, uh, called the labrum, gets partly torn off. And, and in those cases, uh, we think they're the ones that are most likely to re-dislocate even after someone's had a repair done. And there's a new, um, there's a new surgery where they, they take uh, a piece of the bone and they actually bone graft it um, uh, and, and create a, a new tendon um, with this. Uh, and it's a fairly new surgery. It's a fairly long recovery period because you're looking at bone healing, not just soft tissue healing. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, it seems to have... Uh, uh, a fair amount of success, especially with people who dislocated after they've actually had a, a repair done. And uh, speaking of uh, Chelsea, uh, John Terry also picking up an ankle injury in that same match against uh, Atletico, um, but he appears that he could make a, a quick recovery here and, and return to uh, action in the next uh, Champions League semi-final match. So that's uh, would be a good sign. Is is that something that just would be a uh, a minor knock or maybe a bruise, or could there be something a little bit more that he could just fight through? Well, well, he did uh, twist his ankle, uh, apparently. I think he trod on uh, somebody else's foot, uh, maybe it was his foot, and rolled his ankle, kind of thing you see in basketball quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Um, but what can happen there is, uh, what, what can make things a lot worse is the talus, which is the bone that sits in between the two, the two long bones and the leg at the bottom, can slide forward and get stuck sort of almost out of place in a forward position, um, preventing the foot from being pulled up. Um, and uh, what apparently happened with John Terry, he had some manipulative treatment uh, of, of that ankle, and uh, apparently he was walking normally uh, the day after. So I think if he's got good range of motion, strength, uh, they'll tape him up and he'll be out there. Well, David, uh, thanks again for uh, taking the time to join us, and we'll talk to you again next week after the Whitecaps. Are you going 70-style to the Whitecaps uh, match next weekend? I'm afraid I won't <laughs> be in Vancouver. I'm going to help some people with branding uh, up in, up country. It's my cowboy weekend. <laughs> nice. Well, thanks again, David, and we'll talk to you again soon. All right. Thank you very much. Bye. That was uh, David Sandals, physiotherapist at Expert Physio. If you care about your health, why not work with the experts? Convenient clinics in Burnaby Heights and at Eight Rinks. For more information on services they provide, visit expertphysio.ca. Tonight's poll question brought to you by anotherfinecut.com. Who is the ultimate soccer mom and why? Tweet us your thoughts with the hashtag BarberPoll, the Soccer Talk 650, or Tyler Green FC. Let us know why you think you might have the ultimate soccer mom. On weekends, Kia Vancouver. Located at 396 South Mest Marine Drive. Want to help you out in finding the perfect car? They helped me find the perfect Kia Sorento to drive around in. It's loaded up with all my baseball gear and all my soccer gear. I'm double dipping tomorrow. Going to start with uh, a baseball game. Finish off the night with some uh, some soccer. And then who knows after that. Might uh, go out for uh, for dinner somewhere. Pick uh, some people up, go for a nice uh, late night uh, dinner somewhere. So lots of room in, in my new Kia Sorento. You can get into one as well. 396 Southwest Marine Drive at Yukon or online at kiavancouver.com. Southampton Chairman Ralph Kruger in about uh, well, 30, 40 minutes from now. But up next, we're going to give you the manager's rant and continue with our Whitecap Supporters Series this week. We take a look at the Curva Collector Collective and speak with Zachary Meisenheimer, one of the founding members. He's got a massive trophy that we're going to bring in studio. AM650radio.com is the place to uh, watch and see it. But all of that is coming up next. 
Follow us on Twitter at Soccer Talk 650 and at Tyler Green FC. This is Kia Vancouver Soccer Talk on AM 650. Whether playing soccer on this continent or football on every other, Umbro is the name worn by top players and teams worldwide. Those same uniforms are available for your team or club at Umbro.com. Umbro, proud to be the official supplier of Canada's men's and women's national teams, is celebrating 90 years of expertise in the game. If you want your club to play like the pros, dress them like the pros at Umbro.com. Umbro, the heart and soul of football. A similar beautiful game is played out every day at Kia Vancouver, where people like you make great scores on the value-loaded Kia vehicle that suits their needs. Right now, Kia Vancouver has throwback pricing on all new Kias with prices like they were 15 years ago. Plus, 0% financing up to 84 months. All-wheel drive credit of $500 on select 2014 Sportage and Sorentos. Beautiful. Kia Vancouver, the power to surprise. At KiaVancouver.com and on Southwest Marine Drive at Yukon. Vancouver Street Soccer League is the beautiful game at its finest. Teams of men and women who are homeless have recently been homeless or are at risk for homelessness get together to train and play matches. It's great fun that builds skill and confidence, and the league sent players to four consecutive homeless World Cups in Milan, Rio de Janeiro, Paris, Mexico City, and Poland. Find out more at VancouverStreetSoccer.com. This message fueled by Duso's Fresh Pasta and Sauce, proud to support community on and off the pitch. Guys, if you've got a soccer mom, Trinity Salon and Spa has the Mother's Day special just for her. Like the one-hour relaxing massage to ease her body and mind of all those soccer mom traffic laundry gear stresses. Or one-hour deep cleansing facial, professional-grade ingredients, clean pores, and visibly reduce wrinkles so her inner youth comes shining through. Find out more at trinitysalonandspa.ca. Top votes by Best in Burnaby, Georgia Strait, and soccer moms everywhere. Trinity Salon and Spa. Mind. Body. Beauty. 4138 Dawson, Burnaby. RBC $6 Small Business Account. Make every dollar count. Are you a business owner looking to save big on your banking? Choose the RBC $6 Small Business Account. It's flexible. Bank how you want, as much as you want, and get automatic discounts. Plus, there's no minimum balance required because, hey, every dollar counts, starting with six. The RBC $6 Small Business Account. Make every dollar count. Learn more at RBC.com slash six. RBC, advice you can bank on. We're back. This is Kia Vancouver's Soccer Talk on AM650. Now here's your host, Tyler Green. Tonight's Barber Poll brought to you by anotherfinecut.com. Who is the ultimate soccer mom and why? Tweet us your thoughts with the hashtag Barber Poll to Soccer Talk 650 or Tyler Green FC. You're listening to Kia Vancouver Soccer Talk on AM650. Again, my name's Tyler Green. On Twitter, Tyler Green FC. Contributor Simon Fudge with me, as always. Simon Fudge 74, and Simon's got all the scores from Italy. Last night saw Roma defeat AC Milan by two goals to nil. Miralem Panic and Gervinho had their goals in that game. Two games today, Bologna nil, Fiorentina two. Two goals for the Colombian Juan Cuadrado in that match. Internazionale drew nil-nil with Napoli in the other game today. Six games tomorrow, they include Livorno versus Lazio and Sampdoria versus Chievo. And on Monday, the leaders Juventus, who are trying to get ever closer to winning their another Scudetto, are away to Sassuolo. Vancouver picked up an unexpected win in Real Salt Lake, especially if you watch the first 10 minutes of this one. Yes, they didn't uh, actually win the game, but somehow they managed to claim a single point at Rio Tinto Stadium in a match that should have been over by the 10th minute. And Real Salt Lake would be kicking themselves. Nick Romando tweeted as much that they should have won that game. But two goals that Nick Romando knows he should have stopped and the team, with the two-old goal advantage, ended up dropping a full three points. And they should have put, really, Vancouver down. Look, Vancouver is going to take the point. They're going to get out of Salt Lake with the point, And they're going to run back to Vancouver as quick as possible with that point. But there has to be, at some time, you have to think that the Whitecaps' luck is going to run out. And this Caps team needs to start putting together consistent 90-minute performances. Because if they don't, Vancouver is going to end up dropping all the points instead of somehow winning one. Simon? 
Yeah, and it it I I the blood started to boil very quickly with me, and it was in the first ten minutes, and much of it was due with the fact that they just um, they looked as cold as the weather was there tonight. I mean, they they never seemed to get going, and they seemed almost disinterested in many respects, especially after the second goal that that that, that Salt Lake scored. I mean, uh, that for me has to be one of the low points of the season just the way that goal was conceded there was no effort made whatsoever no urgency to close people down and that really much summed up the first half the fact that Kyle Beckerman had two great sights in that in that half to, to make to even further increase the lead which I'm sure Salt Lake are looking back on and saying you know that's when we probably should have buried them it was it was just really difficult to sort of watch. Uh, I mean, it was better in the second half, and and obviously then they found a way to to take a point. But um, you can't get away from what we saw at the, the early stages of the game. That was particularly concerning tonight. Well, we're going to get more into this because uh, well, starting last week we debuted a, a new feature, the Whitecap Supporters Series, and last wo- uh, week we spoke with uh, Martin Rivard of the Rain City Brigade. Next week it's. Uh, Chris Withers of the Southsiders, he's going to stop by. And this week, we're pleased to be joined by Zachary Meisenheimer, one of the founding members of the Curva Collective and a Bayern Munich fan. <laughs> Zach, welcome to uh, Kia Vancouver Soccer Talk. It's good to be here, Tyler. Simon. You also uh, brought a, a special little treat for us here. If uh, people are watching at am650radio.com, it is the, the Cascadia Cup. First of four. Yeah, it's great thing to uh, possess and uh, we uh, covered it again this year and this thing's uh, had I, I like it how it has its own schedule because we were talking <laughs> earlier uh, in the week to try to bring it in and it, it literally has its own uh, day timer to figure oh, out totally. where it's going to be totally I mean it was golfing today so <laughs> it, you know got through some golfing got through the match and yeah was able to get it here so uh, let's start with uh, obviously the the formation of the Curva Collective how did it uh, all begin for you guys <sighs> Like everything in life, it's, it's about relationships, right? And so uh, uh, people in Vancouver, yeah, who support the Whitecaps and uh, just kind of came together. Uh, I think s- when you talk about support, support of culture, it's very nuanced and very, you know, there's a variety to it. Sometimes to some people might all seem the same, and in some ways maybe it is, but um, just a, a number of people who are, are good friends kind of came together and said, um, we want to try and do something that we think is meaningful and quality and um, it might look a little bit different than some of the things that are currently happening and uh, and uh, we just kind of began to, to kind of cast a vision and, and, and brainstorm together and uh, kind of took things from there. Yeah, because you mentioned that, that everyone's a little bit different and the sports culture is a little bit different. Uh, you look at all the European sides and everything's a little bit different in that and um, the Rain City Brigade guys are a little bit different than you guys and, and a little bit different than the Southsiders. So what makes you a little bit uh, unique in, in what you do? I don't know if, I don't know if it would be unique, but uh, I mean, within our, within our movement, within, our, within our, the group of people that we have uh, that are part of our movement, we stress, I think, the things that are important to us are vocal unity. Mm-hmm. Vocal unity throughout the ground is a different issue, which maybe you want to talk about or don't, but um, vocal vocal unity, uh, being on the same page uh, together and what we want to do and how we want to do that. Uh, and then uh, I think visual displays are um, just extremely important to us, something we value uh, tremendously, supporting uh, our players in, in, through through uh, visual visual things that they can see, or that people can see our support. And you guys have done some, some major things. Uh, I know uh the huge TIFOs are something mm-hmm. that you guys have taken a lot of pride in, in putting together. Yeah, flags, banners, TIFO. Uh, yeah, they're all um, they're all things we value and and love doing and love uh, sacrificially giving to and uh, and making and uh, they're yeah they're they're tremendously important to our movement. It, I I got a great chance. I think it was uh, last season to be in in the middle of uh, being with a career captive for one of the games and. Um, it is a nonstop effort of continuing to voice and and den and and can you speak about why that is so important and why that uh, continuing to chant continuing to sing through the course of the match from beginning to end is so important in your eyes yeah well we, well uh one of our one of our partners uh, a guy named Slamo this year uh kind of coined a, a hashtag that we've been using to describe a little bit about how we do things and how I think others do things as well but support is always and so we feel that that's important to be vocally supporting the team uh, as much as possible through the the entire 90 minutes and so um 
Yeah, some things are have kind of places where we try and do things in, and some things are more reactive to what's happening. Um, and sometimes we stop to react, and then we'll go back to kind of what we're doing. But yeah, like definitely giving our all vocally nonstop is something we we value and something we think is important as a as a movement. Uh, obviously, uh, the supporters culture is growing here in Vancouver. What's your membership like right now and uh, how has it grown sort of in the last couple of years here? Yeah, I mean, we don't we don't like to use the term membership. <laughs> we, we like to use the term partnership. Um, I, I think, and this is maybe all semantics, but for us, I think <laughs> membership kind of, in some ways, I think makes it sound like those who are members are entitled to something. Right. We like to use partnerships because uh, we want people who are sacrificially giving their all. Like that's tremendously important to us. And so, um, yeah, we're... Uh, what are we in year? This is beginning of year three, and um, yeah, we there's been growth. Uh, I think we started with you know nearly you know 40 season tickets, and now we're like near 75 or whatever. The thing for us with growth is though that we we want to make sure that people really want to buy into everything, buy into who we are, and so. Um, it's not just like, hey, just come and come and all, all of a sudden you're a part of things. Mm -hmm. And there are some movements, uh, you know, throughout MLS that are that's kind of how they operate, and that's that's cool. We just we know we're not everyone's cup of tea, and so we want people to come and be a part of it. So you know, Sam, you came you came through a friend or multiple friends and came mm -hmm. and hung out, right. um, and we want people to come and experience it and see if this is for them, uh, see if who we are is for them, and they want to they want to join in and sacrificially give their all with us, or if. Maybe they're like, yeah, it's not for us. So we, I mean, there's lots of people who are like, yeah, how do I, how do I become a part of what you're doing? How, and we usually will say, well, have you been to a match with us? Are you like, are you, do you know someone kind of in our movement? Um, uh, have you experienced things with us away or at BC Place, whatever? And so if they say, no, I've never been to, a we've never been to a game with you, then we're like, well, that's the first thing. Come and hang out and spend a game and see if this is, is for you. See if you want to go the full 90 vocally and bouncing and all that kind of stuff and, and enjoy, uh, you know, giving your time and energy and effort and finances to visual displays. So now, now we force Simon to sit in the press box with us. So. <laughs> that's yeah. for, that's for some people too. Well, the other great thing that I like about you guys, and this was just blown away, but this actually started as early as last season as well. Cause I think I remember to seeing it firsthand is you get, you do your own, player of the match and so really how did that come about and how has it now turned itself especially with the great video with Kenny Miller turned into something where they become a vocal participant yeah, uh, yeah the vocal participant thing's always been a part of it this the only thing that's new this year is the song is the song that we do the the humba and so um that's something some of us wanted to do last year and some people are a little apprehensive and so far we've we've done it once this year and it went relatively well we hope it'll grow and the, the humba itself is something that you can augment and make your own a little bit more and we hope to do that as well yeah so it, it was actually the 2012 one game uh, at the end of a game, uh, to the Chivas 4-0 game, I think it was, uh, Gersh just came over, and I, we just said, hey, Gersh, come in here with us. And Gersh came in, and we we were singing and bouncing together and whatever. And so um, uh, I think M Massimo Cusano and I were talking. I said, Massimo, how, well, how about we try doing something a little bit more you know, formal? We talked to some of our partners and said, this is what we were thinking about trying and seeing if it will happen. And it kind of took off from there. So we just, yeah, it, 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 man of the match might not be the right word because we talked about doing that. Like, let's just see how the match goes and choosing someone. And then you run into a whole bunch of different problems because there's people like yourself who want to talk to the man of the match. And there's, <laughs> you know, the, the official man of the match. And there's time frames and commitments. And stuff. Right. So what we've done is just said, we just want to celebrate with someone from our team who ideally has been involved in the match. Uh, when, we, when We only do it when we win, obviously. And um, so we just connect and say, hey, this is what's going on. Would you like to be a part of it? And, and we just invite. And, yeah, we've had positive response and positive experience for our partners and people in and around our section as yeah, well. Yeah, and so far I don't think has any. I don't think anybody's declined to come in, have they? No, we had one loss, sort of loss in tra uh, translation, <laughs> um, which wasn't, wasn't a bad thing at all. But, uh, no, it's been, yeah, it's been really good. And, uh, and, and I think uh, after every match, I think that player's also probably, I think, wearing a Curva Collective shirt at the end of it, too, <laughs> for yeah. the most part. Yeah, so uh, there's three elements to it, right? There, there's the coming, actually physically coming into the section, two, ideally leading the song, like whatever the song, you know, has been, um, now the Humba, and three, a, a traditional kind of kid, kid swap. So when we invite, when we invite our players and we connect with them, um, invite them, we say, there's three elements. We'd love for you to do all three. If you're uncomfortable with any any of them, that's okay. Just let us know, and we can talk about that or whatever. So the the biggest thing is we've had a couple people be like, "I'll come and do it all. I just don't want to sing." So so um, 
So they just come and, you know, our people have the the singing element of it. And, or whatever. and this, uh, obviously, this sounds and looks to be probably very unique in Major League Soccer, I would think. I, uh, do you know of any other teams that that, no, uh, that are doing this? No, and I mean, but we don't do it to, to be unique. We just yeah. do it because we think it's meaningful and quality. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's, it happens anywhere else in MLS. Well, it definitely uh, does make it uh, more fun and does connect uh, with the with the players as well. And that's something that uh, I'm sure the the when you think about it, the players look at that and think, "Wow, these supporters are very welcoming. Want us in there?" And maybe that helps sign a player at some point saying hey I, I like these fans yeah one of the one of the coolest times we did it the only time we've ever done it not a bc place was uh fc edmonton away in the voyagers cup last year uh and um and when we we connected with greg Clazera because we knew he was going to be playing mm-hmm. and stuff and yeah it was that was a, you know just really meaningful to connect with greg in that way so speaking of travel you've uh, obviously been on uh, numerous trips uh, not only uh, to follow the Whitecaps, but I know overseas as well. What uh, what Major League Soccer uh, city has uh, given you the most joy oh. and uh, to to go travel with the team with? Uh, most joy. Well, well, I guess the funnest trip overall. Oh, you <laughs> you can, I mean you can't get away from Cascadia being right. incredibly meaningful, and and we've had well, especially Seattle away last year, the four one game which has changed the spelling of Seattle for, for supporters. Um, uh, like that's, uh, that's, that, that's an incredibly memorable occasion. Um, obviously getting a good result, uh, helps or, or, you know, doing TIFO helps make it more me- meaningful, uh, for us. Um, uh, for me, I think, I think last year, uh, oh, oh, I think overall MLS, the first ever away game was, was pretty fun to go to. So it was, th- then it was just Massimo and I, this was, pre the movement days and we just went to to philly and i think we we're the only people from vancouver actually there were some other local people who who hung out that was that was just special because it was the first game and we got to hang out at training a bit and uh, and that kind of stuff and then um this last year i got to go to new york with my wife and it was like a whole trip and you know in manhattan for five six days and all that kind of stuff and then we got a result which was incredible <laughs> very which, true and uh, that was a lot of fun so i think whenever you go there's Whenever you whenever you go, it's 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 a good time. Like even even when the result isn't well, the performance isn't great. Like there's just something uh, special about traveling to support your to support your players. Have you ever been to Chicago? <laughs> uh, I've been to Chicago. Yes, not not to support <laughs> uh, the Whitecaps, but I did go to the. Uh, I went to a Bayern uh, Man U friendly there in oh I can't remember what year in the uh, mid 2000s. Yeah, I was uh, I was at that game as we, well. The shootout, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, if you think about it, uh, our friends at uh, Uniglobe One Travel 604-677-1495, they have planned a trip to Chicago to see the Chicago Fire Vancouver Whitecaps game on July 30th at Toyota Park. Also, uh, see the Cubs and uh, Colorado Rockies game. Includes airfare, transfers, four-star hotel accommodation. There's limited seats, but you can book at uh, 604-677-1495, 604-677-1495, or facebook.com slash soccer talk van for all the details. Um, think about it. Are you and Christina bringing Simon with you? or uh, We're he, not sure. He, does he have a travel ban? <laughs> he, we, yeah, we, we, we have taken his passport away, so we have to make sure we might have to give that back to him. We're not sure yet. We're not sure how travel-ready uh, we are to travel with Simon. I think that's the problem right there. <laughs> I probably feel the same way in some respects, actually. Have you been to Chicago? I have not, oh. no. And I would be very intrigued to go, actually. Yeah, you'd like, enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. So uh, with uh, uh, it's uh, Tyler Green, Simon Fudge, and uh, Curva Collective's uh, Zach uh, Meisenheimer with us. The Cascadia Cup as well with, uh, with Curva. Um, obviously, there's uh, you kind of touched on it, but there's... A bunch of different groups. Uh, obviously, the three largest ones are yourselves, the Rain City Brigade, and, and Southsiders. How do you guys coordinate so you're not? Uh, and I know it happens at times, but uh, sometimes there's that competing of different things at different times. Is there any uh, work between between the groups to try to get something going at the same time and not sort of overwhelm one another? Totally. Um, like I said, it's all, life's about relationships. <laughs> and so um, I, I think that there's uh, there's uh, synergy, there's a uh, you know, positive relationship between um, ourselves, uh, our movement, and Rain City and, and Vancouver Southsiders, as well as some of the, uh, the other movements that are maybe a little bit 
smaller number or less recognized or whatever. And so, um, yeah, we, we work together on all these kinds of things. And so uh, this year so far, the, the focus has been on that, yeah, first kick, getting a, 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 an end-wide visual display done. So mm-hmm. uh, that was that was that took a lot of time and energy and effort to make sure that came off. And so uh, we've also been talking about the vocal stuff as well. There are, like... I think, you know, even last year, there's probably like three or four things that we do together anyways. And so this year, um, there has been a, a concerted effort um, to, to add to that. And so there's been at least one other thing. So there's, you know, the boundary road at the beginning of the mm-hmm. game, uh, you know, that people do together. There's the obviously the Whitecaps call and response, which is a, there obviously there needs to be a little bit of coordination to that to make sure it, it, it comes off well. Uh, then the 86 minute, which has been very meaningful the last two matches, because um, we've scored in it both these last two matches uh, tonight and last week. Um, just the the, uh, the the eight six thing going on there, and then uh, we've been working on the Whitecaps FC chant, uh, trying to give the whole end doing it at once. And the last two games, it's it's been yeah, we think it's been meaningful and uh, enjoyable. And then we've also uh, sporadically uh, connected a little bit too with uh, not sporadic spontaneously connected a little bit with with Rain City a couple times last game which was which was helpful and so the the, the movements are, are talking about these things they're working together we work with the front office together to uh, you know on issues and concerns and, and positives and negatives there as well so there is a lot of communication that happens and there's a lot of good good relationships good friendships that, that, that exist to hopefully help continue to propel things in a in a direction I think we'd all like to see it generally go We'll talk uh, a little bit more with uh, with Zach uh, just after the break. He's from uh, Curva Collective as we continue our Whitecap Supporters Series. Kia Vancouver is the number one retail Kia store in BC last month, selling over 70 new Kia vehicles to tons of local soccer, soccer fans. You can be next. Visit kiavancouver.com or 396 Southwest Marine Drive at Yukon. More to come on the program, including Southampton Chairman Ralph Kruger, key questions, and more from the Curva Collective. But first, let's find out What's happening around BC in the BC Soccer Bulletin? Here's what's happening throughout the province with the BC Soccer Bulletin. The Coastal Cup Tournament has been happening all month long across the Lower Mainland and Vancouver Island. The finals are being held at Minaru Park in Richmond, April 26th and 27th. 44 U13 to U18 teams are competing. More information can be found at bccoastalcup.com. The Adult Provincial Championships are happening May 10th and 11th, with the men taking to the fields on Saturday prior to the women's competition on Sunday. Come out to Burnaby Lake Sports Complex and support your local club while watching some of the best adult soccer in the province. There will be a B-licensed provincial coaching course beginning on May 2nd in Victoria, B.C. at Pice and Reynolds Park. The course is five days in total. For more information, visit bcsoccer.net slash courses underscore workshops. And that was this week's BC Soccer Bulletin. To find out more information about these events and on how to become more involved with the beautiful game, visit bcsoccer.net. Follow us on Twitter at Soccer Talk 650 and at Tyler Green FC. This is Kia Vancouver Soccer Talk on AM 650. Whether playing soccer on this continent or football on every other, Umbro is the name worn by top players and teams worldwide. Those same uniforms are available for your team or club at Umbro.com. Umbro, proud to be the official supplier of Canada's men's and women's national teams, is celebrating 90 years of expertise in the game. If you want your club to play like the pros, dress them like the pros at Umbro.com. Umbro, the heart and soul of football. A similar beautiful game is played out every day at Kia Vancouver, where people like you make great scores on the value-loaded Kia vehicle that suits their needs. Right now, Kia Vancouver has throwback pricing on all new Kias with prices like they were 15 years ago. Plus, 0% financing up to 84 months. All-wheel drive credit of $500 on select 2014 Sportage and Sorrentos. Beautiful. Kia Vancouver, the power to surprise. At KiaVancouver.com and on Southwest Marine Drive at Yukon. Guys, if you've got a soccer mom, Trinity Salon and Spa has the Mother's Day special just for her. Like the manicure that cleanses, exfoliates, and finishes with a beautiful vegan polish from Spa Ritual for fresh, renewed hands. And the Glamour Wash and Blow Dry, so she can ditch the ponytail and have that red carpet sexy mom hair again. Find out more at trinitysalonandspa.ca. Top votes by Best in Burnaby, Georgia Strait, and soccer moms everywhere. Trinity Salon and Spa. Mind. Body. Beauty. 4138 Dawson, Burnaby. The Straight Razor Shave, a leading man classic. Centuries old, steady hand coaxing the rugged face back to smoothness. 
This nearly lost art has found revival at anotherfinecut.com. Hot towels, straight edge blade and your face. It's an experience that reminds you you're alive. You're a man in the company of history's finest men. Start at anotherfinecut.com. Pick your barbershop in Yale Town, Gastown, or the Financial District and relax into the big red leather chair for the shave of your life. Over 100,000 Canadians live with ulcerative colitis, a debilitating inflammatory bowel disease. If you suffer from colitis or you care for someone who does, the Gastrointestinal Society invites you to their free bad gut lectures. Learn about symptoms, diagnosis, management strategies, and more. Tuesday, April 29th at the Croatian Cultural Center, Vancouver, and May 13th at the Executive Hotel and Conference Center, Burnaby. Please register in advance at badgut.org slash events. That's badgut.org. This is Kia Vancouver's Soccer Talk on AM650. Now here's your host, Tyler Green. Whitecaps play to a 2-2 draw against Real Salt Lake tonight. Key questions coming up in a minute, but first let's check out uh, the scores in Germany here, Simon. Friday night saw Hanover draw nil-nil with Stuttgart, and Saturday today, six games. The champions, Bayern Munich, a 5-2 win over Werder Bremen. Very happy Zach Meisenheim here. Claudio Pizarro had two goals in that game. Tattoo man John Brooks scored the winner for Hertha Berlin over Eintracht Braunschweig 2-0. It was Mainz 2, Nuremberg 0. Hoffenheim drew 0-0 with Eintracht Frankfurt. It was Wolfsburg 2, Freiburg 2, as well as Bayer Leverkusen 2 and Borussia Dortmund 2. Two games tomorrow in Germany, Augsburg versus Hamburg and Schalke versus Borussia Mönchengladbach. Thanks, Simon. And, uh, of course, uh, Zach, I know you're a big Bayern fan, so uh, they're getting the, the job done there already in the league. Uh, do you think they... They, they can do it in Champions League and, and overcome. So you're asking me if I agree with Simon or agree with you? Is that what you're asking? Um, you guys were talking about that before in the starting fine. 11, right? Yeah. Uh, I, you can disagree or dis no, agree I mean, with both of us. They, uh, they, no, they have to overcome this. I think they can. Uh, I think you know, what Simon said in terms of you know starting the match well, I think will be key. I, I, don't want, I don't think it would be good for anyone to kind of come at it slow and like let's just build up and whatever. No, they need to... They need to come out uh, firing on all on all cylinders, which yeah. is which has been hard because they've been resting so many players, mm -hmm. which is why I think they weren't so on form in the in the first leg. So it was interesting to watch this morning that they didn't. I mean, they rested Mandzukic, they put in Pizarro, whatever. But like in general, they played mostly their best players. Um, so I think they'll hopefully be a little bit uh, in a little bit of a shape on. Wednesday, yeah, Tuesday. and and I think that I, I, the point I made earlier is important, and it's much to do around the fact that I I just didn't, I think Real, if you think about the best soccer they've played through the course of their entire season, all competitions, the best of it's come in the Champions League, and the fact that they're gonna they've been such a threat, they've they've the way they demolished a Schalke at one point, um, is they they remain a real threat. I mean, the fact that Ronaldo. Uh, who might not have been totally 100% on that game on Wednesday goes out scored two goals today. They should have Gareth Bale back mm -hmm. fit and healthy from illness the week from last week. And I, I think uh, their their propensity to be able to score goals and that they'll be valuable as an away goal. Um, it, I think it makes it incumbent upon Pep Guardiola and Bayern to really take the game to them right away. Mm -hmm. So the next question about Germany, Klopp. Uh... One of the guys I guess people are talking about is possibly taking over at Manchester United. Do you think it happens? Do you think he ever would? Uh, there's the, the possibility, yeah. yeah. I, I don't, uh, yeah, it's not going to happen now. And uh, I mean, I personally would prefer it not to happen just because i not not a big fan of Man United and would want them to have someone as quality as, as Jurgen Klopp. I thought your Benfica suggestion was like totally like totally out there, but also <laughs> like really interesting. Like you, it's like you're appointing a new special one from Portugal. Um, but uh, uh, no, yeah, it sounds like uh, Louis Van Hall is going to come in, and I think that that's maybe even in some ways a different kind of disaster to to David Moyes because Louis Van Hall in his time at Bayern he achieved stuff. But he it just his style was not did not go down well with the superstars. Like it was it was in some way it, in certain aspects uh, there were there were good, but in other ways the, the strict disciplinary and stuff was not. He was like a father to some of them, but he was also too much of a taskmaster for I think for some of them. So, so uh, some uh, some housekeeping here. You can forget a uh, don't forget check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash soccer talk van for the latest events, news and info on the show, and you can check out our Mother's Day contest happening with Trinity Salon and Spa. Tell us why your mom 
or wife should be the soccer mom this Mother's Day. And if your entry is selected, she'll walk away with a super rela uh, relaxing spa day, including a, a massage, nails, deep cleansing facial, the, the, the hairstyling. Because soccer moms, truly amazing, supported you when you, uh, when you played, drove you around, did your laundry, made sure all your gear was together. Now you can give back to your mom. Trinity Salon and Spa Mother's Day special. Trinity Salon and Spa.ca. Mind, Body, Beauty, 4138 Dawson in Burnaby. And uh, it's also our poll question. So, Zach, here's your, your shot to give uh, Cheryl a plug. Why should she be the ultimate soccer mom? Well, she's not quite a true soccer mom yet because <laughs> Kirk, we haven't put him in actually an organized league yet, but um, she's definitely a football widow, and, and now we also call her the TIFO widow. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, she's great just because, yeah, she takes care of the, the whole family when, uh, when football's going on. So, Time now for key questions. Tonight, uh, our executive producer, Christina, went out, found some ladies playing soccer around town to find out uh, why their moms were the ultimate soccer mom. Here's what they had to say in tonight's edition of Key Questions. She's the ultimate soccer mom because she was always there to support me even when it was raining outside. My mom's the ultimate soccer mom because she would always drive me to practice, wait for me late at night, and always brought the best oranges. My mom's the ultimate soccer mom because she would stand out in the rain every single weekend and never complain once and was always so super supportive. Love you, mom. <laughs> so there we go. That's uh, tonight's edition of Key Questions. So, Zach, let's get back into uh, Curva Collective here for uh, just the last minute or so. Um, obviously, you want uh, you know, want people to come and experience it uh, before they actually join you. Where's the best place to kind of find you guys? Um, what section do you sit in? Where can they find you for, say, road matches and et cetera? Yeah, uh, Section 203 slash 204, the way our stadium works, those are together. It's one kind of <laughs> uh, one kind of thing. So uh, the front of there, the first uh, yeah, six, seven, eight rows down there is where you'll find us. Uh, you can find us online uh, on Facebook, you know, Curva Collective on Facebook, if you search that, um, at, at Curva Collective on Twitter. Uh, there's a website in, in, uh, that's in process that will okay. launch eventually, but we're working out some stuff on there to make it uh, meaningful. Um, yeah. Road matches. Road matches. Uh, road matches. The great thing about Cascadia is, uh, if you want to go to road matches, you need tickets or whatever. Yeah, we'll, we have people who are going to some of them, so you can touch base with us, and we'll help you get connected for for away tickets. Um, MLS stadiums have away supporter section, mm -hmm. so uh, we're uh, in uh, connected in there with other supporters. Cascadia matches. Uh, the Portland June first game is coming up. If you need tickets, connect with us on that because uh, we still have some available for that, and that is going to be uh, yeah should be another epic encounter. And if uh, you guys don't uh, head out on the road to watch a game, do you, is there a particular spot in town that you like to watch? Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, life's about relationships, and so we've uh, it's like we started a sort of a dating relationship with uh, <laughs> with the Cinema Public House downtown on the corner of Granville and Smythe, and so we've been going there pre and post match, and then away matches as well. Perfect. Well, uh, Zach, thanks for uh, coming in, joining us, bringing the Cascadia Cup as well, finding out a little bit more about uh, the Curva Collective and what you guys are doing and uh, helping build that supporters culture. It's it's obviously something that uh, you guys care a lot about, but just looking at the different groups that are growing, regardless of what group it is, it's uh, it's a fun time in Vancouver here to have so many of these supporters groups and even look at some of the uh, the European teams and, and, you know, I look at the, the Liverpool supporters group, for example, and how massive those guys are becoming and, and bigger and bigger. And they're, they're in uh, their pub uh, the Butcher and Bullock at uh, 5 in the morning <laughs> completely jam packed uh, it, it is it is a growing thing here that people are, are buying into it more and learning more about the supporters culture aren't they for real yeah it's a, it's a good time to, to be a supporter in Vancouver and I think all supporters in Vancouver long for for things to progress for things to some people would say to grow um, and that's uh, yeah we, we're, we're of a like mind in that well uh, Zach thanks again for coming in uh, for coming in, we've got uh, a $25 gift certificate for you to the Donnelly Group, so you can use it uh, at Cinema the next time uh, the Whitecaps are on the road and you're down there. We've also got uh, a $25 gift certificate to Trinity Salon and Spa for the wife because she is uh, one of those uh, soccer widow, but, uh, you know, a soccer mom nonetheless because I know that... Uh, I know that uh, your son is getting bigger and bigger into this soccer uh, experience, so she will soon be a soccer mom 
nonstop, I sure, I'm sure. Many thanks. We are a collective, so I'll have to make sure I share those <laughs> things around. Perfect. Thanks again, Zach. Uh, we're going to take a quick time out here on Kia Vancouver Soccer Talk online at kiavancouver.com. Kia, the power to surprise. Kia Vancouver, the number one Kia dealership in BC. Go test drive one today at Kia Vancouver at 396 Southwest Marine Drive. Again, more information at kiavancouver.com. Up next, we will wrap things up with the final cut. Brought to you by anotherfinecut.com. Get some hot fudge. Simon's been hot all day, and we will find out what the hot fudge pick is this week. And we'll also speak with Ralph Kruger. How did he go from the Edmonton Oilers head coach a couple of years ago to becoming the chairman of Southampton in the English Premier League? We'll ask him when we return we're hoping to ke catch up with Ralph Kruger next here on Kia Vancouver Soccer Talk on AM650. Follow us on Twitter at Soccer Talk 650 and at Tyler Green FC. This is Kia Vancouver Soccer Talk on AM650. A similar beautiful game is played out every day at Kia Vancouver, where people like you make great scores on the value-loaded Kia vehicle that suits their needs. Right now, Kia Vancouver has throwback pricing on all new Kias with prices like they were 15 years ago. Plus, 0% financing up to 84 months. All-wheel drive credit of $500 on select 2014 Sportage and Sorentos. Beautiful. Kia Vancouver, the power to surprise. At KiaVancouver.com and on Southwest Marine Drive at Yukon. Guys, if you've got a soccer mom, Trinity Salon and Spa has the Mother's Day special just for her. Like the one-hour relaxing massage to ease her body and mind of all those soccer mom traffic laundry gear stresses. Or one-hour deep cleansing facial, professional-grade ingredients, clean pores, and visibly reduce wrinkles so her inner youth comes shining through. Find out more at trinitysalonandspa.ca. Top votes by Best in Burnaby, Georgia Strait, and soccer moms everywhere. Trinity Salon and Spa. Mind. Body. Beauty. 4138 Dawson, Burnaby. The Vancouver Street Soccer League isn't out to change the world. Just give the men and women in our homeless communities a chance to play soccer. Regardless of skill, everyone's included in practices and matches with teams from UBC, the Vancouver Police Department, the Vancouver Mayor's Office, and more. The focus is fun, but it builds skill and confidence, and that can change someone's world. Find out more at VancouverStreetSoccer.com. This message fueled by Duso's Fresh Pasta and Sauce. Proud to support community on and off the pitch. Pain or injury slowing you down? Take it to the choice of many top athletes. Expert Physio. Serving the Lower Mainland for over 35 years, the team at Expert Physio is dedicated to individualized care with specialized services such as orthotics, acupuncture, IMS, plus dizziness, pelvic floor, and certified hand therapies. Over 300 physicians referred to Expert Physio last year, and 100% of patients surveyed said they choose Expert Physio again. You're in good hands with Expert Physio. Burnaby Heights or at 8 Rinks, expertphysio.ca. Wendy's presents a case of mixed greens. Um, Tom? Yeah? Are you eating my Wendy's barbecue ranch chicken salad? What, Wendy's? Please, fresh spring mix like this, mm, fire roasted corn, mm, crisp bacon. And you're eating it at my desk. Oops, I guess I accidentally ate your whole salad. Right. Make no mistake, Wendy's new salads are irresistible. From the bold barbecue ranch chicken to the zesty Asian cashew chicken. I'll buy tomorrow. <laughs> now that's better. RBC $6 Small Business Account. Make every dollar count. Are you a business owner looking to save big on your banking? Choose the RBC $6 Small Business Account. It's flexible. Bank how you want, as much as you want, and get automatic discounts. Plus, there's no minimum balance required. Because, hey, every dollar counts, starting with 6 The RBC $6 Small Business Account. Make every dollar count. Learn more at rbc.com slash 6. RBC, advice you can bank on. We're back. This is Kia Vancouver's Soccer Talk on AM650. Now here's your host, Tyler Green. Kia Vancouver is the number one retail Kia store in BC last month, selling over 70 new Kia vehicles to tons of local soccer fans. You can be next. Visit kiavancouver.com or 396 Southwest Marine Drive at Yukon. Just about to uh, wrap things up here on Kia Vancouver Soccer Talk for another night and another fine cut. Uh, we'll uh, wrap things up here in, in a minute and we'll get to hot fudge. But, you know, Zach answered the why 
his wife should be the ultimate soccer mom, gave us his thoughts, and hey, walked away with a $25 gift certificate to Trinity Salon and Spa. It's really that simple. You can uh, just email us your thoughts at Soccer Talk 650. You can tweet us at Soccer Talk 650 or uh, um, drop our uh, Facebook page, facebook.com slash soccer talk van. All right. If there is one thing, one thing that you must do, that you must see, watch, listen to, eat, if there is one thing that you need to do this week, Simon has it. It's the one thing that he recommends each and every week. It is called hot fudge. And Simon, what is it uh, this week? Well, I think this is a very important one. Um, it, it, I think it's a bit of a plug to our, our great people here at uh, AM650, and a, but a very important one for people who want to listen to the show, um, especially going for it, especially next week when we have a home game and they may be out still having a pint. There is an AM650 mobile app available, and we I highly recommend for your smartphone or smart device to, to download it so that you're able to listen to us live wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and so that you'll never be able to have to miss us. Obviously, we're available in podcast form, but you, if you're very keen to know what, what we are saying between 10 and midnight every Saturday night and you can't get close to somewhere where there's a radio, you can use that AM 650 app. So I, I highly recommend you download it. Now, I knew this was coming because you emailed Christina and I on Friday. I think it was all caps, all a bunch of exclamation points. <laughs> you have to download this app. It is the most amazing app. So I knew it was coming, and uh, you've been listening to it nonstop. I think you're actually listening to it right now as well, aren't you? <laughs> it could be said, yes. Maybe. Uh, we're hoping uh, – we're almost out of time here. We've uh, we've got uh, literally about uh, – almost just about 10 minutes left. Uh, Ralph Kruger just a little bit delayed uh, in England right now, so we're hoping that we might be able to catch up with him here in the uh, last few minutes of the program. But – uh, it is time for the final cut, brought to you by anotherfinecut.com. Three full-service barber shops for your big haircut, hot shave, buzz cut, fade, and beard trim. Get the ultimate barber shop experience at anotherfinecut.com. Three locations to serve you in Gastown, Yaletown, or the Financial District. Find out more at anotherfinecut.com. I'm heading there on Tuesday, actually, to get my haircut. If you have some suggestions, please tweet me at tylergreenfc. And also tweet at another fine cut. Should I go with the Tybert? The Osted? The Kofi? Maybe the Hurtado? No? No? no. 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 <laughs> well, how, how should I get my hair cut? Just get us uh, your thoughts and I can ask Martin what uh, what kind of haircut I should uh, I should go for. Simon, uh, we're going to wrap things up here in a, in a quick minute. Uh but, um, you know, just your final thoughts on this Whitecaps match from earlier tonight, a 2-2 draw with Real Salt Lake, and what you need to see from Vancouver moving forward to show that they are a team that can compete with these best teams in the, in the league. Play with a, with a sense that they believe that they can compete against big teams in this league. Uh, because let's face it, especially in the first 10 minutes, but in the first half, uh, they, 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 they just didn't seem to be of the belief that they could, and um, uh, it looked like this game was basically over before it started. Uh, how it was, en- how it ended up actually getting turned around into a draw, and they got something out of it, and they were them the ones being happier. Well, that could be a positive sign, um, but the challenge still remains there, and it has been there lingering as a question because we are in season four with this club, and it's a major. We just everyone is very keen to know where what is the future and where do they go next as a club in this league can they compete with the big teams if they can't it's going to always be a struggle and it's going to lead to more frustrations for supporters and i think media alike yeah we talked about it uh you have to if you want to be one of the best teams in the league you have to beat the best teams in the league and yeah they were able to get a result and they were able to get that single point uh whether that was down to uh, some, you know, the, a good bounce and a, and a good shot from Sebastian Fernandez to some poor goalkeeping and some questionable goalkeeping and uh, defending practices. But uh, from Real Salt Lake side of things, 
they feel like they should have been able to put that nail in the coffin of the Vancouver Whitecaps today. They had the 2-0 lead 10 minutes into this game and should have been able to finish them off. But Vancouver, hanging around for the most part and get it done in the last 10 minutes of the game. Um, but if Nick Romando somehow manages to make one of those two saves that he needed to, all of a sudden, the Whitecaps are walking out the uh, walking out of there with zero points, and it's a more of a negative feel to that game. Yeah, and I I, I think the fact that they did claim something from it is 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 a delight, but I don't think it should mask um, what uh, what we saw for the most part, and I think that's where the concern lie has to lie. And of course, as we say now, they're winless in four games, and they're coming back here. It's a big game next weekend against another big Western Conference opponent, San Jose, and uh, they've got to start. It's it's time now for this team to start stepping up, and if they do, um, you know, then then we may have some positive signs. They're going into another big month here where there's a, there's a trophy on the line that they've got to look to try and win. It's called the Voyager's Cup, and uh, they're not going to get anywhere close to winning it and securing Champions League soccer unless they start showing much better form than they have in the last few weeks. I wanted to uh, get this in because uh, Jason Lind of the Cascanadians had a huge MLS fantasy week this week. He He's not the winner just yet because there is still one game and who knows what's going to happen in that one game but he had a, a huge Wednesday in the one game that was on and then he follows that up with a, a pretty good weekend he's currently sitting at 104 points and he right now is the odds on favorite to walk away with the April contest of the single highest point total in a week uh, he is literally, I think, about thirty, at least 30 points ahead of the next contender, if my math is so incorrect, though. He's like 25 points ahead of the next contender. But still, that's going to be very tough for, uh, for somebody to try to come back from and uh, over, overtake him. Um, so this is uh, really... Um, it's uh, he might have this one wrapped up, I think, Simon. We're gonna announce the winner on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash soccer talk van. We will also unveil the uh, the next winner or, or sorry, the next contest that we'll be having in May here on Soccer Talk on Kia Vancouver Soccer Talk here in Vancouver. So uh, check that out. but uh, Jason Wind right now, we probably gonna be the big winner. But just a huge week, 104 points right now with one game left on the weekend skip. We want to take this uh, final few minutes. doesn't look like we're going to be able to hook up here with, uh, uh, with Ralph Kruger. He uh, got a little bit delayed. And um, unfortunately, uh, we're just about out of time. But uh, hopefully we can uh, catch up with Ralph next week and uh, talk about his transition from NHL head coach to chairman of... Southampton FC and Simon thanks again for joining us and uh goal.com that's right yeah writing uh, very soon very soon in uh, yeah. in goal.com about the Vancouver Whitecaps so uh, we'll talk to you again next weekend and uh, we'll look for your stuff as well thank you for the crew here at Kia Vancouver Soccer Talk executive produ producer Christina contributor Simon Fudge and producer Greg the Hammer Ballack my name's Tyler Green. Thank you for listening. Again, you can download the podcast at am650radio.com and at uh, Kia Vancouver Soccer Talk. We do return next week. Just got to get this in. Mark Daly says, Tyler, kick it old school. Go with the fade when you get your hair cut at anotherfinecut.com. I eh, might take that into suggestion. Who knows? We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. When I return next week here on Soccer Talk, 10 p.m. Saturday night, we will recap the San Jose Earthquakes and Vancouver Whitecaps match, the 40th anniversary match. Are you going to be sporting some 70s gear? I'm hoping Simon will uh, walk in with some 70 gears, uh, 70 gear next week. But you can hear the show right here on AM650. Thanks for tuning in. The Beatles are next.
This is Kia Vancouver's Soccer Talk on AM650. Follow us on Twitter at Soccer Talk 650 and at Tyler Green FC. A similar beautiful game is played out every day at Kia Vancouver, where people like you make great scores on the value-loaded Kia vehicle that suits their needs. Right now, Kia Vancouver has throwback pricing on all new Kias with prices like they were 15 years ago. Plus, 0% financing up to 84 months. All-wheel drive credit of $500 on select 2014 Sportage and Sorentos. Beautiful. Kia Vancouver, the power to surprise. At KiaVancouver.com and on Southwest Marine Drive at Yukon. The 2014 season of EA Sports BC Soccer Premier League. Welcome to the front lines of the game. Welcome to the big league. The one that provides an elevated level of competition for high performance players within BC and contributes to player development for the Canadian national team and professional opportunities here and abroad. This is where you're going to see the top youth players in action. Catch some of the most intense soccer in the province. EA Sports BC Soccer Premier League. For information and upcoming games check out bcsoccer.net pain or injury slowing you down take it to the choice of many top athletes expert physio serving the lower mainland for over 35 years the team at expert physio is dedicated to individualized care with specialized services such as orthotics acupuncture ims plus dizziness pelvic floor and certified hand therapies over 300 physicians referred to expert physio last year and 100 percent of patients surveyed said they choose expert physio again you're in good hands with expert physio burnaby heights or at eight rinks expertphysio.ca Uniglobe One Travel presents the ultimate sports experience. Three big summer days in Chicago, departing July 29th. This fully hosted trip includes airfare, transfers, four-star accommodation, tickets to see the Vancouver Whitecaps FC play, and a baseball game at Wrigley Field. Plus, you'll also get sightseeing trips, entrance to attractions, and some group meals. Get information on the Soccer Talk Facebook page at facebook.com slash soccer talk van. To book, call Neil at Uniglobe One Travel, 604-677-1495. Limited seats, book now. My favorite childhood memory is Saturday afternoon tea at Grandma's. Her big, beautiful sofa, fancy teacups. Now, I relive that memory every day, thanks to Surrey Upholstery. If it has good bones and good memories, Surrey Upholstery can help restore, reclaim, and recycle it. We'll come right to your home with fabric samples and expert advice. See before and after photos at surreyupholstery.ca and get a free online quote. All the fancy cups are broken, but Grandma's sofa lives on. Relive and recycle with Surrey Upholstery. 